to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about the Tennessee Three as a distraction. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also, comment on this video. The Tennessee Three, two, which were expelled. Two were black males. The other white woman was not expelled. But this whole Tennessee thing is really about transgenderism. If you remember that week, we had the shootings at the Covenant Christian School, and it was by a transgender who wrote a manifesto. But what the Democrat Party did is not put the blame on the transgender, they put the blame on gun control. So they quickly tried to protect the religion of transgenderism. So they switched to gun control. And by using gun control, they would take the transgender young man who killed those six Christians at that school off the table. So they decided to have a protest, a riot or insurrection in the Tennessee House of Representatives. So you know that the Republicans is not playing. After you indicted President Trump, you knew it was going to be backlash. And this was the first instance of them doing this by expelling these two young men. One of them 27, one of them 29. But to me, this is nothing but a distraction off of something every black person should be talking about is reparations. I have yet to see any representative that a black we have over 10,000 black representatives and none of them have been arrested in any house or any Senate legislator across this country for reparations. So you know what the Democrat Party is doing. They're going to use do these two black men. They're going to use them to ramp up for the 2024 campaign. They're going to get black people all riled up for nothing. These two representatives can be replaced with two others. But when are we going to see the same, the same fight? the same energy for reparations. It's always a distraction from what we should be doing. This distraction makes no sense. Kamala Harris flies down to Nashville to support the Tennessee Three. Have you seen her fly anywhere to support reparations? She flies to Africa. Not really if you wanna know to support Africa, but to talk about the alphabet community's agenda. And you wonder why Africa is turning to the BRICS. They're turning to China. They're turning to Russia. Because they're tired of the American influence. This was a true distraction about what the real issue was. And it was that that transgender took out six Christians at that school. They needed some to use gun control. They went and protest in the Capitol to take all the lights off that transgender. And these two black males end up getting expelled from the Tennessee House of Representatives. You gotta understand, when there is an action, there will be a reaction. These Republicans is not playing anymore. They're coming for your head after the Trump indictment. And we have to be more strategic. You're in the state of Tennessee. What's the probability that you're going to actually get control, get gun control in a southern state like Tennessee? I don't care how you act. You have to do that in increments, small increments in a state like Tennessee. In running through the House of Representatives, and I have seen the video on Twitter, you can call it a riot, a protest, or insurrection. 
I don't know what it was, but you gave them an opportunity to use their power. And see, you got to understand, just like you use your power in Democrat-run cities to indict Trump, you think these Republicans is not going to use their power in legislators, in southern states, attorney generals? You don't think that's going to happen? And this is what happened in Tennessee. Now, Joe Biden is inviting them to the White House. So basically, he wants to get black America all riled up for the 2024 election. You don't see that this is nothing but a play? Boy, I would love to see any black person get invited to the White House in support of reparations, but I know that'll never come. This is complete foolishness right here. And you can get Roland Martin and all those clowns over there who going to get you all riled up about the Tennessee Three. But let me tell you something. It's not even worth the fight. Because if they're there or not there, they ain't fighting for reparations. I don't see no bill in front of the Tennessee House of Representatives for reparations. I ain't hear them talk nothing about reparations. Shoot, the way they act, they look like they got some bussy in them, too. So I don't know what's going on. But I do know this. Don't waste your time on issues that don't matter to black America. And these two representatives really don't matter. I know many of you going to disagree with me. You leave your comments in the comment section. But they not fighting for reparations. And that's all I really care about. When they give us our reparations, when the Democrat Party come to and say they support our reparations, and they put forth some bills in Congress or in the Senate, other than that, what are we talking about? Gun control in a southern state. And you know it's not going to happen. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, but also share this video. And please leave your comments in the comment section.